Welcome back friends. Hey, today we got a pretty short video for you. I'm going to give you a quick tip on how to set up most weight distribution hitches. I hope you'll stick around. Okay, let's jump right in it. So if you've been following the channel, you'll know that we are currently testing weight distribution hitches and I have to set all of those up. I'm currently on my sixth hitch and hopefully the last one for a while. I'm quite frankly, I'm tired of setting them up, but I've gotten pretty good at it. And a lot of times manufacturers of these hitches will ask you to measure your wheel wells. Wheel well is hard for me to say, so continue, just laugh at me if I screw it up a few times. But they'll ask you to measure your wheel wells to judge how much weight is being distributed. So you'll measure them without any trailer hooked up, and then you'll measure them again with your trailer hooked up, but no bars engaged on the hitch. And then finally, you'll fine tune it. Most of the time, they'll ask you to get halfway between that first and second measurement you made. So three measurements on your wheel wells total. Well, I've gotten to the point where I like to use this trick when I'm measuring my wheel wells. Okay, just for clarification, because I know some of you will ask, they ask you to measure your wheel wells because they don't, they know you don't have a scale at home. At least 99.9% .9 of us don't. So they'll, they're judging how much weight is being distributed to the front of the vehicle by measuring your wheel wells. So that's why we do this. All right, the tip is super simple. So when we're measuring our wheel wells, we actually, we definitely want to be in the middle of the wheel. And, but by the time you've went back there and you've messed around with that hitch and you've, you've tried to fine tune it once or twice, a lot of times you can't remember, did I measure right here at this very bottom? Did I measure at this lip? I don't remember. So I like to go to the first nice full measurement. For this case, it's 44. So I'll pop an arrow right there. And I use an arrow so I remember which side I measured. And then I'll just label it 44. But I like having that nice round number. I like having that arrow. And I like the fact that I don't have to remember my measurements when I'm fine tuning. Now one more really picky tip for a tip here is make sure this area is clean. Um, I'm picky about my truck. It's dirty right now, but I want to make sure that this, when I'm riding on this, that I'm not grinding the road grime into my clear coat. So make sure this area is clean before you start using the dry erase marker. Now obviously when you're done, uh, you'll also want this to be clean so you can just wipe away your dry erase marker. And there you go, everything's like new. All right, friends, just a real quick video. I hope it was useful. If you got somebody setting up a weight distribution hitch or if you're setting up a weight distribution hitch here soon, I uh, hope you can use this tip. Uh, it always helps for you guys to share these videos. We appreciate when you do. And also consider subscribing. See ya.